This is video number 87 for violin and viola players, and in this video we're going to learn to play number 142, and also learn what theme and variation is. So open a book, your book to page 35, and look right there where it says theme and variation. You can read there, theme and variation is a musical form where a theme or melody is followed by different variations of the same, versions of the same theme. Now, what that means is like we take a song, and then we just change it up a little bit, okay? For example, if we took Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And we played it with the pepperoni pizza rhythm. Or the rum pony. We could also do something like making it sad and slow. played it in what's called a minor key. You've been learning major keys. Major keys is oversimplification, but major keys are what composers use to play something that sounds happy. Minor keys, something that sounds sad or angry. Okay, again, oversimplification of that, but um, you'll learn more about minor keys when you go to book two, okay? Um, but it's kind of a cool thing to do. So what a variation is, you just take a main theme and you just change it up a little bit. This theme of variations only has one variation. And as you can see, kind of what they've done, if you just look at it, all they've done really is taken the, the, the main theme and done the run pony rhythm with it. That's all that they changed. That's all they changed. You could do any kind of thing. You could also, I'm going to play, do the, the, um, the theme first. The theme is the first eight measures, okay? Again, we're in G major. We're just going to shadow bow the theme, all right? So, you notice the little bracket? That's telling you use independent fingers. Why? Because you're coming back to that B. It starts off in a B. Goes to G, goes back to B. So just keep your one down and just move your three. That's what it's telling you to do. Independent finger, shadow bow, measure one through eight. One, two, red C, and go. Now F sharp, because we're in G major, F sharp, C natural, low two, low two and A. Independent fingers. What I would suggest that you do, you're going to play it with me here in a minute, but after you play it with me, practice it till you can't get it wrong and until it's in tune. Because until you can play the easy version of the theme, the variation is not going to be easy for you. Okay? Play it with me now. Now, one, independent fingers, B to G. One, two, beginning, and no. You keep that one down. Now, short high two, high two. If you, if you messed up on that kind of bad, pause the video, learn it, because the, the variation is going to be very similar. And if you can play the theme, variation is going to be easy. If you can't play the theme, variation is going to be really difficult. Starting where it says variation one, this is second line measure three, shadow bow. One, two, te, shadow bow, go. and track, practice it on your own first, absolutely do that. But if you were in my class, that's what I'd have you do, is practice on your own first, and then we play it together as a class. So it's always a good idea to do that. Variation one, together. One, two, right, C, and no. Four, 
Okay, now what you should do, I'm not going to do this in the video because I, 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 it makes the video a little bit too long. Now what you should do is try to play the whole thing beginning to end without stopping. That's how normally a theme and variation would go. You would not play just one or the other. Theme and variation, you play the whole thing. So that's what you should practice on your own now and to be ready for the next video.